Welcome. Today we're going to do the community post winner, which was Run With The Wind, which was suggested by my good co-host here, Freddie. And Man, it's an underrated show. You know what? When you mentioned this show, I was like, and you were like, it's a sports anime and it's like slice of life i was a little bit i've i've watched haiku i've watched like a few sporty things like i remember yeah. my son wanting to watch is it uh kuroko's basketball or something like that oh yeah yeah yeah. so i watched a few things and i was like oh is it going to be much of a muchness but we can talk about this i'm going to quickly just preface this with if you've not heard other episodes of the podcast, you're not going to hear me gush about a show so much as I am this one. If you enjoy this, why don't you not listen to one of those previous episodes? It, it'd be great. It's free and it makes me and Freddie feel good. And if you want to and you're not, you can click subscribe or buttons. like. So, Freddie, mm. would you like to tell us about the community poll winner, Run With The Win? Give us the quick sell, the in for people who've never seen it. Okay, so guy who really likes running sort of kidnaps and blackmails a bunch of other guys into running a race. Stockholm Syndrome, the team yep. sport. Yep, sort of. There is a word for it, but he gets them all to live in a house and then says the condition for living in this house is you're going to take part in this pretty much like marathon. Yeah. Um, probably work the like Kone? harder is than it? a marathon. Yeah. Yeah. But it's like this extreme run. It's like, yep, you're going to do it. And they do it. They and, do. Oh boy, it's it's a real journey and it's a good journey. Yeah. Unlike a lot of sports anime, I think it really focuses on characters and the developments mm. and like the backstory for Kurakara, who is one of the two main characters in this show. Yeah. You end up meeting him because he's running away from committing a crime. And then, <laughs> yeah, that's something I always forget. It's like, yeah, he's he's a he's criminal. A thief. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So he's a first year university student and he's blowing all of his money gambling. He's lost as as we go on through the show, you discover that he lost like a scholarship. He was like the hot upcoming running talent, like the the runner of a generation. And mm. The way it presents some of his backstory is really interesting, especially when you see him having punched someone and that person sobbing and being like, Oh, Kurakara, why did you do this? The twist for that in this flashback is it's not a teammate. He's punched mm. an adult. He's punched a coach because he doesn't agree with his mentality, even though this guy's like super celebrated really like oh you're like the coach of a generation like your school is untouchable like everyone you get goes off to like the top universities on scholarships and you mm. see how this interaction haunts Karakur and how he's not a hero really he's kind of a villain I mean like, he's, he's a person and people have flaws very true and they do that so well though I mean the I can't remember the name of the guy who keeps antagonizing him but from his old running team mm, and, yeah he's in the opposing team yeah later. The guy's a dick but yep it turns out he's kind of in the right for how he feels which again as you just say they're humans and their perspectives, like everyone's the hero in their own story, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and that's really important because everyone in here develops. The bit that's entertaining with you talking about the blackmail section is everyone <laughs> in the house when it's revealed, oh, you've been able to live here for free because the terms are you've joined the marathon team I think it's called the Hakone. Yeah. And they, they're all like, yeah, we may have signed the contract, but I don't want to do it. You can't make me run. <laughs> and watching that group of nine other runners that Haji has recruited, Haji is such a character. I, I loved Haji. At first, I was so like, oh, he's, he's like a piece of work. Mm. Like, he's really manipulative. But then you can kind of like sympathize with who he is and how he is i think yeah. is he a sociology or psychology student 
he definitely apply. He wouldn't be allowed mm-hmm. to be a therapist because he does what's known as the dark arts of counselling, which is <laughs> I understand you and I'm going to make that work for me. If he was in the United Kingdom as a therapist, no ethical body would touch him <laughs> and he would be, like, blacklisted for all of the stuff that he does in this show. He's... I kind of saw it as that yeah. he was taking, like, coaching. He like So part of the story is you find out he can't be a runner because he's damaged his leg. Yeah. In order to sort of keep in the running, he's then decided, like, oh, I'll be a coach. Yeah, you have this thing, like, as you said, the previous coach from one of the, the main characters. The old, oh, sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah mentality. It, I guess it is kind of like a little bit, like, twisting of uh, the social interactions and, like, how it is. And it, I don't know, that seems to be how coaches seem to be in this show. Yeah. Just People seem to have this ability to be, I'm going to dig deep into you and yeah. make you do this. I think that here's a moment to mention a character that, if you watch this show and you've never watched it, and you're like us, you will probably recognise and feel some, like, endearment to the character of Prince, who is... Oh, boy. Prince, (laughs) yeah. Prince is a second-year literature student who is so obsessed with manga, his bedroom is literally wall-to-wall... The libraries ain't got nothing on him. Floor to ceiling manga. And he has a little, like, tunnel (laughs) that leads to his bed. And Mm. he's surrounded by comics. And he can't run, like, at all. I think in the first (laughs) scene that you see them trying to run as this, like, you know, practice. What was it? Practice 10 kilometers? Yeah, yeah. The first run 10K. You need to feel it. You've got to. Your and, body has to understand. Yeah, but there's a there's a I quite a funny scene. Prince starts running and a butterfly overtakes him. Yes, it's it's there's a scene in Red Dwarf where it's like Crichton says that a stationary object will be overtaking us, and that's about right for Prince. He, yeah, he also runs like a Resident Evil zombie. <laughs> there's like yeah. this rigor mortis outstretched arm and the other one's like curled up like holding his lungs at all times yeah um, it's like some sort of atrophied dinosaur yeah. but... <laughs> t-rex with problems um, <laughs> yeah but oh. he shuffles along and haji he, yeah. goes oh i'll run alongside with you a couple of runs later He's like, oh, you're doing it. Like, they're all cheering for you. Like, for Haji, this is a walk, really. But yeah. He's he's like, oh, they're all ha- hailing the hero Prince and shouting his name. And then he starts quoting something. And Prince is like, that's my favourite comic. You're quoting mm. this. And Haji's, yeah. like, doing it. And he, he realises during this moment, during the encouragement, that he's overtaken the butterfly yeah 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 like he has noticeable growth and he, bit... it's one of the things he starts off the lowest out of all the characters and he doesn't end up the highest but he like it is noticeable his growth his growth it, you applaud him yeah yeah in six weeks he goes from walking 10k in 35 minutes to yeah. longer than six weeks, I think, because he, he, like, wins the third to last race of the season to qualify. Mm. He's the last to qualify. And yeah. the training montage to improve, like, when Haji turns to Kurahara and is like, look, I can't do this all by myself. You need to do something. And he's like, how can I reach out to Prince? And he realises Prince has been taking it seriously, And he's bought a treadmill and he's holding the manga in front of him and walking and steadily getting it. Yeah, one of the things is that, like, as you mentioned, his posture is terrible because he's never run before. He's a, you know, a literature student whose entire personality is manga. It's like one of the things he has to learn how to run. I'm pretty sure if I think it was Hachi's idea that Hachi would hold, was it Hachi would hold a manga and Prince had to read it while he was running. But by doing that, it forces his posture to change. Yeah, because he's looking down when he's on the treadmill, whereas Mm. when he holds it up, he lifts his body up. And then Kurahara's like, he needs to get his arms involved. And this is one of my favourite scenes is when he hands him 
two books and he's like, I want you to pretend these are new manga and I can't wait to get home to read these. I mm, can't mm. wait to get home to read these <laughs> to try and encourage him to move his arms. And they just make him like do circles in the park with these books. <laughs> and it's great. Uh, it's it is. great. Um, yeah, the, the posture thing is a real thing. Like I remember seeing a while ago, there was a documentary on one of the reasons why Usain Bolt is one of the fastest runners on earth. His posture is actually quite different to a lot of other runners. It's like, it's almost linear. Yeah. Whereas, yeah, as we said, like Prince is probably as far away from that as you can be. He's like a helix. Yeah. I've done football coaching for like football teams my son's played for. Soccer for our American friends. And mm. trying to teach kids that their football improves when they're not staring at their feet. It's like, you should know where the ball is. You use your sense of touch. And then the rest of it is like 90% of football, you don't even have the ball. So mm. you've got to understand where to be to be an option to have the ball. And in this, Hadji spends a lot of time making people understand what to do. And he's quite tactical. Um, one of the, I feel really horrible, one of the more forgettable characters, part of the reason he picked him is in conversation. He was like, oh, I used to work, walk five miles up mountain to go to school. Yep. And Hadji yep. was like, you know, sinister genius pose. The <laughs> pyramid of contemplation it's like the hills of yeah. where the, what's the area called that they run the race i can't remember the, um, i I, ju I love how he the two football twins him and those start the weird chant of like the hills of such and such uh, the <laughs> steepest in the world and it becomes like the team's bond, like the acceptance of this is going to be hard. Mm. And all of them going, what eventually happens for a lot of the people is going, actually, if I do this, I can prove to myself and others, I can do difficult things, which is an important point in life. Because Hadji's question is, and he says it to everyone, what is it to run? When you finish the show, I like... I said something to a friend and I was about and I was about episode uh, 15 23 23 low to mid 20s yeah it's for most anime it's considered two seasons like I got to about episode 14 or 15 and had you kept mentioning this like what is it to run and I mm. commented to them it's like is he saying what is it to run or is he really asking what is it to live? I became like a college literature student again and I got that, like I was explaining this thing to my friend and she was like, oh, you actually put it in quite a beautiful thing. And I was like, oh, thank you. I literally just made it up now. Thanks. I found it very funny when you finished it yeah. and you messaged me immediately like the first message you were like so philosophical about it you're like oh yeah. my like you yeah. know the whole thing could be a metaphor well you were sort of doing it as lots of people coming together to focus on yeah. a task and getting and i was like yeah i could see that or you could use it as a metaphor yeah. for like you know yeah. different parts of yourself if they're all invested in doing a task how much more your output will be yeah 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 but I then think... when I watched it, and the first time I watched it, I was like, I like running. <laughs> I want to go for a run. <laughs> it's just like that complete difference of, yeah, you had been like going through this whole philosophy of it. And I was just like, yeah, yeah just I liked the story that it told me. It was a good story. If you, as a viewer, watch it, you can, you know, you'll get fun out of it. However. Yeah, I re it really resonated me onto a number of things. And also, like, I used to do distance running for fun. I was never really competitive. For me, the, like, I remember Freddie going... You should watch this show. It made me want to go <laughs> running. And then yeah, yeah. I was like, I used to run like 10 to 16 miles for a run. Like I I was so close to attempting a marathon and then I mm. got hadjied. I wasn't like, you know, I need to see a physio every 32 yeah. seconds. And I was like, oh, I'm going to do this. But then I changed job location, which is how I met Freddie here. And like going from like a 10 to 15 minute to commute to like... 45 minutes one way you suddenly feel yeah. that like time being taken away from you and part of yeah. me was like i recognize all of these phases and i mm. recognize like prince trying stuff without proper instruction and then the difference is i didn't have someone going like dude look we can fix this i had to be like hi 
running shop man. I do this uh. and I would like to be a bit faster. And then they put me on a treadmill and they went, oh yeah, you postures crap. Anyway, we've gone quite off topic. We have. <laughs> we will go back to the amazing running anime and yeah. the characters. I think for me, I don't know if you had any favourites because everyone gets like motivate different things. So there's yeah. Joji and it's Jiro, isn't it? Yeah, but the football twins. They call him Joe and G, the two twins who were done in mm. such a way they're kind of the same person yeah which is quite it's, entertaining yeah it's i guess it's you know maybe an outsider's perspective on twins yeah but i mean they also share got, that the story right. yeah <laughs> Hadji's like, might... if you run you can get chicks and they, they're like that's the whole reason we play football and for those two it's girls the epilogue i quite enjoy for them we'll get to that as we've said prince into comics uh, getting him to run was kind of like i think he had quite a lot of screen time because you know he's got a long way to go i think One also of he gets a lot of screen time it's like this is an anime we've got to give the weebs a relatable character and yeah, i also think true. one of the things that they highlight with prince is he has like a very dry sense of humor as mm. well which being english that works with us yeah i don't know how that translates to americans and other nationalities mm. i also like his little yeah. jojo references including <laughs> the jojo faces from time to time yeah one of the characters who didn't get a lot of screen time who strangely i think when i was watching it the several times i've watched the show i didn't really gel with all that much was king i but... could though I found it, well, King quite relatable. <laughs> maybe that's yeah, a I think, statement. Yeah, looking back, I actually quite like King, but then maybe that's the whole, I, I don't know what it is, but it's like, you know, as time progresses and you kind of, you don't forget things, but, you know, your memory gets a bit fuzzy around things. Yeah. It's like, yeah, that, he was a fun character, actually. He was like, but King. at the time, he, yeah, he was a very stubborn yeah. character. I think as you get older, King becomes more relatable, mm. especially when it's like he's very proud, but he wants yeah. to be considered and he doesn't know how to interact with people, but he understands he's got to interact with people. And maybe because of my age, I'm at that weird uh, point in life where like I'm in my 40s. Me, you know, you don't go out. It's not like, oh, I go to the club. I've got like adult responsibilities um, a yeah. dad. Um, but with King that's how I relate to him is it's like as you look back over your life it's really easy to be hard on yourself mm. and not realise where you've come or how far you've actually travelled and sometimes seeing that you've made though even if it's two steps forward um, mm. I was saying to someone the other day they were like, oh, I've done this job and I don't enjoy it. And I went, well, you can always come back on the path or change route. You're not stopping and starting with nothing. You're stopping and starting with experience, which is kind of King's journey in this. He's He thinks of things as like, oh, whenever I stop, I've given up and lost it rather than learning what I don't like is as important as learning what I do like. Hmm. And him and Haji, I think, is quite good because Haji leans it because he's obsessed with quiz shows. Yep, like, yep. Yeah, he really loves them. And Haji's like, look, if you do this thing for me, I want you to tell me about your favourite because he goes on about the temples, doesn't he? Because he's really into mm -hmm. the history. And yeah. Haji's like, look, once we finish the race, we'll come back here and you can tell me everything you know i look forward to it and king's like actually i while i'm doing while he's doing his race and he has the one of the hardest parts because he goes against like he's in the aces section or like the upcoming runners mm -hmm. and he's like yeah, oh, yeah. i've let everyone down and that's a good thing that happens when we so i know we're skipping over a lot of details because we could like all the characters have so much depth in this show and they get to see a lot of very important growth things one of the things that will i had proud dad energy 
throughout like the whole of this especially mm. even though i knew they were going to qualify for the hakone and every you know everyone will have their own challenges when certain characters achieve things i could really feel like i was like welling up and i could really feel mm. it like when print i, I said to freddie in discord i was like <laughs> when prince finally achieves his qualifying time like yep. my proud dad energy is going to be through the roof and do you know who else is proud dad energy is through the roof when that happens because he look because he's got to make 16 minutes 30 to qualify hasn't mm. he and yeah, he yeah, makes yeah. 16 20 something like he qualifies with wiggle room it's not like mm. oh 16 29 build the tension it's like mm. oh no he qualifies kind of comfortably yeah and had I, me and Hadji yes. were literally in the same point when he qualified, where it's like, stop cutting onions. <laughs> yeah, damn onion ninjas. Yeah. Why is everyone peeling around here? One thing we haven't touched on, which I think is mm. kind of important in this, the two rival characters presented to us in yep. this show could not be more oh, different. Twins. Fujioka who is the all-star, like, he holds the record and he's like, oh, Kurohara, I, I can recognise your talent and stuff, but I'm going to sm- I'm gonna have the course record. And Kurohara's like, well, enjoy it for the 10 minutes that you have it because I'm going to smash your record. But, like, the Vegeta confrontational rival, he's... I really liked him. He wants strong opponents. He Hmm. wants people to challenge him. He wants to have people powerful. He will... He's the kind of guy who would build his own rival to make himself stronger. That's... When he confronts Kurohara, he's not like, oh, yeah, this is like our boss fight moment. He basically says to him, it's like, I'm going to go out there and break the section record. What are you Um. going to show me? And due to, like, the relationship that build with Haji, despite Haji's driving, is... Haji helps Kurohara understand, like, yeah, shit happened in the past and you dealt with it badly. We've built a group and we all support each other and we need you to push us and use your expertise to support us. It's great to see, like, such... I hate using the word inspirational, but the way all the characters like lean into each other and on each other and help each other actualize it's Mm. like there's some really like beautiful touching scenes throughout this whole show and i don't think it oh it's like overbearing or overwhelming i think it like gets its balance right nine times out of ten and i think i was gonna yeah one thing i will i will ask given it was the previous episode how did you feel on the pacing of it? Oh, the pacing of the running show. Yeah. Um, excellent. I was like, going to say, it was, yeah. Oh boy, it this, was good. So, in the previous episode, we talked about pacing. This mm. is how, an, especially a short show, that's not like, oh, I need you to buy the 250th copy <laughs> of the manga. Because the manga for this is like two th- to four volumes. It's quite a small book or mm. collection of books, which it they actually kind of padded out for the TV show without feeling overwrought. And having ten characters in the running team gave them that space. Yeah. Going back to your point earlier with like, oh, Gareth was quite philosophical. And you mm. were like, oh, it's like, imagine the parts of yourself unionising like when you finally like persuade your anxiety to step aside like step out your own way and go like different people don't know different things but they can learn them because if you understand that and you can try yeah you will succeed you may not get there tomorrow but if Mm. you make the effort which is what this show's about if you do the work and you're consistent and even so haji is like the jiminy cricket of like when people are like, oh, I can't do this and I can't do that, it's like, you're right, but look at what you used to do mm. and how you're doing now. And it's like, 
one of the people discovers got like a secret set of books which is like everyone's charts and pace and stuff and they discover that when he's been cooking he's been like measuring out everyone's nutritional value mm. and like he collapses because he's been running himself into the ground figuratively well, yeah. and literally <laughs> but yeah the the whole concept of like overcoming some self-doubt to go yeah yesterday I like let's use Prince for example Prince takes 35 minutes to do 10k and mm. Hadji's like you're gonna do it you're gonna break the 13 minute mark yeah and someone's like oh the 30 minute mark like I can walk here faster and Hadji's like you don't get to make that judgment he does he knows mm. this is better than yesterday he is getting yeah. faster not because I'm making him. He is doing the work. And then he realises, you know, sometimes you do the work so much and you're going to need a push or, like, a mm. teacher or a learner. And, you know, the 12 stages of the hero story, which kind of everyone does in a different way. And the show does this really well. And I think the the emotional pacing is great. I think the reveals and the intrigue are good. It ha It's like, weirdly, although it's a sports anime, it has like a, a sub-battle anime, like, training arc. Yeah. That's kind of you, interesting. You know, you've got rivals, you've yeah. got, like, yeah, you've got training arcs. Mm. I think with me it was a case of just how invested you get in the, the characters, characters the team mm. um because yeah it's like the community during they like build as well yeah like everyone in, like, in the, the local town starts supporting the yeah. being like oh like um the shopkeeper who's like oh you're gonna qualify is prince how like how, one of them gets kind of like oh do you think prince is gonna do it and he's like please say he's gonna do it mm. Yeah, it's uh, it's such an amazing ride of a show. Um, and I would definitely... Freddie was like, oh, it's an underrated gem of a show. And yeah, I, you never hear people talking talk about it. It's not even like... Usually, like, okay, I don't do it so much now, but I used to try and browse anime things to watch and just go yeah. by, like, top voted of all time. Yeah. This isn't anywhere near the top. Um, Although it won our poll. Yeah, it, <laughs> We obviously have uh, thank you for the community taste, for that, yeah. but um, it's usually like not that. I mean, granted, in the the scheme of all anime ever, it's mm. pretty near the top. But like when you're going through lists, it's usually like not near the top. It's like you have to like actually give it effort mm. to try and find it. Yeah, it's... and I'm like a lot. Of, uh, <laughs> personal taste. Yeah. A lot of other shows I think aren't as good, but. I guess it's a whole thing of, like, people also want escapism from anime, which... Yeah. Sometimes, like, with the amount of anime, anime that I've been watching and, like, jumping in and out of other people who are in, like, the same sphere as us and more successful currently, <laughs> the amount of people who are like, oh, you've got to watch The Big Three. Oh, you've got to watch, like, Naruto or Bleach. What do you mean there's no One Piece? What do you mean, like, you, this show is better than that show? Let people have their things. Mm. And for me, Run With The Wind is one of my things now. Like, I wish it had a dub so I could show my son. Because... He's 12. I, I'm sure he can do subtitles. I think he can read. Normally... He can, I'm, I'm very confident that. I've seen his school reports. <laughs> but I think he'd be more invested if he could yeah. watch and listen. Um, yeah, I will admit, I... for some reason, Crunchyroll gave me an episode with no subtitles available in English or anything. So, just vibes. Yeah, <laughs> I I do find that strange because I've watched every single episode with yeah. subtitles, but for some reason you haven't. <laughs> if someone has got this far 
and can tell me how on Crunchyroll <laughs> just so one of our co-workers I watched Solo leveling and the other day I was like you know what I've got half an hour I can watch an episode maybe two if I cut out the intros and the outros mm. only in Korean for some reason on my Amazon Prime Crunchyroll so anyway, yeah I might make this... this into a short so I get some answers <laughs> help me yeah, I mean, I have speculations, but I'm not going into it. So, it, and again, speculating, <laughs> not answers. But yeah, I would. So we're gonna do another community poll, and we're yep. going to also have a guest soon. Um, so yes. we'll be having an anime versus manga debate with a gentleman called Ben. Uh, if you're on social media, especially the platform TikTok. He is at Manga Flows. He's also the gentleman who explained to me why the Soul Eater anime may get on my nerves and why I have issues with it. But I do love Fire Force. Really enjoying that. Uh, He's coming on, so we're going to talk about anime versus manga. Maybe some manga Mm. that should become anime that don't have one. Um, We could also... Yeah, I'll... I'll, There are other topics we can discuss in that sphere. I know, right? Uh, yeah. We're, we're going to see what we can do with that, what we've got on the time frames. Mm. And also, community polls. We're going to do another one. I think we're going to do another one that's going to be a split between me and Freddy, although Ben has told us he's got an option for that. So we'll see what happens. We know mm-hmm. what that option is. Oh. <sighs> <laughs> I, oh boy it's it's a choice it, he's it, made it a, is choice. a choice it is a choice and it uh, whether it's fortunate or not i you, have watched it you you get to look and you get to vote on it uh, also i was considering do we do a retro anime vote yeah do we do a retro one like your favorite like 80s 90s mate does early noughties count now I gonna, mean, you, gonna get the sh- Xbox 360 is a retro console now. Please don't say that in front of me. Please the don't Wii, say that in front of the me. The Nintendo again. Wii is a retro console. <sighs> Wii Sports is a retro game. <sighs> just, <sighs> I was going to say... Just stop talking. It's making me sad. These were things the thing that, I enjoyed. The other thing that made me sad today, which I, I have sent to you, Gareth, and I'll, I'll just say for everyone watching, the Windows pipe... Screensaver, 30 years old now. Thank you. Just, yeah. I think yeah. on that note, Freddie, it's time <laughs> to say goodbye. If you've stayed this long, yeah. thank you very much. We appreciate you watching. I've been oh, Gareth. Man. He's been Freddie. We'll see you again. Bye-bye.